Hey guys, it's Chris. From the buried inventions of Nikola Tesla to an alleged device hidden in the vaults of the Vatican that can see into the past, here are 10 crazy inventions they've hidden from us. Number 10. World Wireless Energy There have been a lot of inventions hidden from us over the years. One of the earliest inventions that was completely scrapped and buried was the World Wireless Energy Invention. This was something put forth by the famous Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla. At its core, this system could have allowed for broadcasting wireless energy worldwide for all kinds of different purposes. It also came about in 1893 after Tesla proposed the system to several different scientific societies at the time. And that's not much later than the first light bulbs started going into houses. He basically showed that it wasn't necessary to use wires to transmit electrical energy, and that with his smart invention, electricity could be used all over the world without a single wire. He was experimenting using high frequencies and his unique Tesla coils to power electrical devices. However, his invention never saw the light of day. Even though Tesla had mostly figured out how to use the Earth's atmosphere as an electrical conductor itself, his prototype never got used. JP Morgan had been on board as a financer for the wireless station, and then he dropped out at the last minute. The project was abandoned in 1906, and even though Tesla kept patenting systems associated with world wireless energy, it just kept getting buried over and over again. Even today, the technology is most likely possible, but no one will even touch it. This is likely due to the fact that free energy across the globe would put too many big money companies out of business. It's like if we ever found a substitute for oil. That stuff would be buried so fast it's not even funny. Number 9. The Water Fuel Cell The water fuel cell is a bit of a funny one. It was a technical design for a perpetual motion machine created by an American inventor named Stanley Meyer back in 1940. He claimed that the device he built would allow a person to use water as fuel rather than gasoline. His device could supposedly split water into its two component elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen could then be burned to generate the energy needed to power a vehicle, completely negating the need for gasoline. The only problem with this invention is that it supposedly violated the first and second laws of thermodynamics, and there was actually a lot of people at the time who were not convinced the device was even real. In a news report from Ohio, Meyer used his water fuel cell on a dune buggy, and he claimed the buggy only used 22 gallons of water to travel between Los Angeles and New York. This guy also claimed that he replaced the spark plugs with special injectors that introduced a unique hydrogen and oxygen mixture directly into the engine cylinders. A lot of professionals at the time claimed Meyer was using pseudoscience, and that his device was a total fraud. Then in 1996, Meyer was sued by two investors who were supposedly in business with the inventor himself. His water fuel cell was later examined by three expert witnesses in court, who then claimed his invention was not revolutionary at all and was only using conventional electrolysis. The court then found Meyer guilty of fraud, and two years later in 1998, he died suddenly while dining at a restaurant while screaming, they poisoned me. A lot of people to this date believe Meyer's invention really did turn water into fuel, and that there is a gross conspiracy surrounding the device and Meyer's unexpected death. Number 8. The Chronovisor This invention is absolutely out to lunch, but it's one that has been discussed a lot, and if it's real, it would literally turn the world on its head. Now stay with me here as it does get a little wacky. Apparently, sitting in a locked room somewhere in the basement of the Vatican is a mysterious time travel device known as the Chronovisor. Apparently, it has been down there since the early 1960s. A man named Father Francois Brune, who wrote a book about the subject, swears the thing really exists. He claims that he was sailing with Father Pellegrino Ernetti of the Vatican when Father Ernetti began to openly discuss the device. He claimed it allowed anyone to look back and see anything that happened in the past. This device was first mentioned publicly in an article in 1972, and also discussed in Father Brune's book. Most of this is absolutely hearsay, but apparently the device uses three special alloys to work, and it acts as a sort of television that allows the highest members of the Vatican to look back into the events of biblical times. It's even reported that the chronovisor has verified the existence of Jesus Christ and was able to broadcast his crucifixion. This is obviously complete nonsense. It's the equivalent of the church saying dinosaurs never existed but their fossils were placed under the ground by Satan to test our faith. Because of course the church has a miraculous time machine that took pictures of Jesus Christ being crucified. 
Then again, if it is real, there are some really strange things going on in the world that I'm really not ready to think about yet. Number 7. Tom Ogle and his Carburetor Tom Ogle was a young mechanic from El Paso who apparently invented a very special vapor carburetor that could increase the usefulness of gasoline by at least double. It all started when Tom took a 200-mile round trip inside his 1974 Galaxy with accompanying reporters while using only two gallons of gasoline, according to the original New York Times article from 1978. Tom insisted that he had designed his vehicle to run using gasoline fumes fed directly into the combustion chamber of his engine. This would be a cheap and efficient way to use every last bit of energy inside a tank of gasoline. And by using Tom's vapor fuel system, exhaust emissions would be brought to basically zero, while the distance you could go in a full tank of gas would be double. Suffice it to say, this would have been a massive revolution in how we use gasoline. However, two things stopped the Ogle engine from ever being manufactured on a large scale. The first issue was that running an internal combustion engine on evaporated gas is not very practical, but the real reason is that Tom died mysteriously and suddenly. He had all kinds of investors lined up ready to get the project off the ground, but then he dropped dead at the young age of 26. Apparently, the cause of death was an overdose of alcohol. But what 26-year-old inventor about to be rich overdoses on alcohol? The death was labeled a suicide, and Ogle's invention was swept under the rug for good. Number 6. Palladium Cigarettes The Palladium Cigarette was an invention by the Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company back in the 1950s. These cigarettes were designed to be safer, as that was right around the time that people were realizing how horribly deadly cigarettes are for the human body. The project was nicknamed Project XA, and it involved adding palladium nitrate with tobacco, which actually decreased the total toxicity of the smoke without leaving any residual levels of palladium in the person's bloodstream. Basically, this extra additive worked as a sort of catalyst. It allowed the tobacco to burn more thoroughly, and therefore significantly less tumorogenic substances were inhaled into the lungs than with a traditional cigarette. While this still didn't make cigarettes completely safe, it did make them a whole lot safer. In 1978, the company was fully stocked and ready to start selling their new cigarettes, but they pulled the plug at the last minute allegedly because of threats from other tobacco companies. If one company were selling cigarettes that didn't kill you quite as fast as the rest of the cigarettes on the market, everyone else would have been out of business. Traditional cigarettes would have been seen as unsafe, and palladium cigarettes would have taken the entire marketplace. This is actually pretty sad, considering how many people have died from smoking between 1978 and now, especially if there had been an invention designed to decrease the harmful effects of cigarettes. But in the end, money and business do typically trump health and safety. Number 5. Directed Energy Weapons This list would not have been complete without some secret government weapons. According to U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, China and Russia have already weaponized space, and I doubt they're the only ones. These are weapons you've probably never even heard of. While not exactly kept from us in the traditional sense, these types of weapons are definitely not being discussed openly. I'm talking about directed energy weapons, or as I like to call them, laser beams. The deal here is that traditional weapons are on their way out, and laser beams are on their way in. Going back to what the Secretary of Defense said, China and Russia have weaponized space using killer satellites and directed energy weapons designed specifically to destroy ground forces from space. Imagine satellites with enormous laser beams that are basically as powerful as nuclear weapons and can be aimed anywhere at any time, hitting targets with pinpoint accuracy. These types of weapons make traditional aircraft, missiles, and all that stuff completely futile. Laser beams can just shoot missiles out of the sky, they can blow up cities, and they can do all kinds of other nasty things. While none of us civilians know exactly how sophisticated our current laser beams are, chances are that directed energy weapons are already here and already primed for war, especially considering that in 2019, the Pentagon supposedly invested somewhere around $95.3 billion on space and future warfare technology. This is according to the department's 2019 audit. In all likelihood, we won't know about these energy weapons until someone starts blasting. Number 4. The Cloud Buster The Cloud Buster was first invented by an Austrian scientist named Wilhelm Reich in the early 20th century. At its core, the Cloud Buster is used for manipulating the weather. It's a series of tubes attached to a gun turret, which is then aimed at the sky to either create rain clouds or destroy them. By the way, the way it's supposed to work is kind of mind-blowing. 
It uses something known as organ energy. It's also known as subtle energy in the atmosphere. The device somehow links the energy in the atmosphere to a grounding material, such as a large body of water. The organ energy is then drawn from the atmosphere, thus creating clouds and rain. The tubes on the device are hollow, and each is connected to a tube, and all the tubes are placed inside the groundwater. It's like a big lightning rod that can tear open clouds so they rain. If you feel confused, you're not the only one. This is all theoretical science. And even though some witnesses claim the device really works, there are apparently none in existence. But what makes the story really strange is that Reich was actually charged with criminal contempt in 1956, convicted and sentenced to two years in federal prison. He died in prison of heart failure. Then, between 1956 and 1960, almost all of his writings and his equipment were seized and then destroyed by FDA officials. Currently, this is considered to be one of the most blatant examples of censorship and suppression in the United States history. Number 3. Starlight Starlight was a material discovered in 1993 by a British amateur inventor who had previously been a hairdresser. This guy actually made one of the most impressive materials on Earth. The invention was first published in a 1993 defense magazine, and it talks all about how the British inventor created a thin coating that was able to withstand temperatures of up to almost 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The substance was so resistant to heat that it would have made tanks, ships, and aircrafts completely impervious to the effects of nuclear weapons even at close range. Starlight was even showcased on BBC television. On the TV program, they showed a chicken egg that had been painted with this special new coating. The coating was so thin that it could not even be seen. The chicken egg was then lit up with an oxyacetylene torch for a few minutes before it was cracked open to reveal that the insides were completely unaffected by the heat. Starlight was the most efficient heat shield ever developed. The hairdresser apparently discovered the substance while messing around with different chemicals in his shop totally by accident. But he never told anyone his secret formula, and nobody has been able to replicate it since. So far as we know, this random hairdresser died with the secret of the most heat-resistant material in the world still locked away in his brain. Number 2. The Heart Attack Gun There is no shortage of CIA conspiracies. Back in the days of the Cold War, it's been claimed that the CIA funded LSD experiments using prostitutes, and that they even had a secret underground ice base in Greenland where they tried to build a flying saucer. One of the more bizarre things the CIA supposedly made was a heart attack gun. They supposedly managed to craft a handgun that was untraceable and killed immediately by causing a heart attack. Of course, it did this using a specially designed poison, but still it was undetectable and the perfect weapon for assassination. The dart from the secret assassination gun could supposedly penetrate clothing and then leave nothing but a small red dot on the surface of the skin. Once inside the body, the dart would then disintegrate, and the poison would melt into the target's bloodstream, causing an immediate cardiac episode. However, there are no examples of the gun left, no proof at all, and so far as we civilians are concerned, it's just another CIA rumor. Number 1. The Sloot Digital Coding System The Sloot Digital Coding System was a data technique that could supposedly store a full movie inside only 8 kilobytes of data. This is significantly more impressive than any means of compression available even today, and the method was developed in 1995. It was apparently invented by a Dutch electronics engineer named Sloot, using a special source code that compressed data into extremely small quantities. For example, even with modern techniques, you would need about 10,000 times more storage than with the Sloot digital coding system. So where did this technology go? Well, on July 11, 1999, Sloot was found dead in his garden of an apparent heart attack. This was exactly one day before he was going to sell his technology for big bucks. Can anyone say heart attack gun? If his invention had gone public, you'd be able to store thousands of movies and music and photos on a single one gigabyte SD card. Imagine the money that cell phone companies would have lost. Which of these secret inventions do you believe really exists? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to WorldList. We'll see you again soon for another awesome video.